Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for August 22nd, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 29. The Horn of Our Salvation. Verse 1. In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Against Egypt, you may remember, Israel trusted in its alliance it had with Egypt. So Egypt is also going to be targeted by God. Verse 3, speak and say, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against you, Pharaoh, king of Egypt. The great dragon that lies in the midst of his streams that says, my Nile is my own. I made it for myself. Notice again, God is addressing the leader of the country, Pharaoh of Egypt. And Pharaoh is called the great dragon that lies in the midst of his streams. Was there a literal dragon? Probably not, even though I do believe that dragons are mentioned elsewhere in Holy Scripture. But notice what Pharaoh, king of Egypt, says. Or I should say, he thinks that the Nile is his own, that he made it. Well, the Pharaoh of Egypt is going to be disappointed because God is the one who made the Nile. God gives us the resources of the land to utilize for God's glory. This would almost be like the mayor of Chicago uh, cannot say, Lake Michigan is mine, I made it. It's true, Chicago sits on the shores of Lake Michigan and Chicago greatly benefits from Lake Michigan. But God is the one who created the lake. And the glory goes to God, not the mayor of Chicago. Verse eight, therefore thus says the Lord God, behold, I will bring a sword upon you and will cut off you man and beast. The land of Egypt shall be a desolation and a waste. Then they will know that I am the Lord, because you said, The Nile is mine, and I made it. Verse 10. Therefore, behold, I am against you and against your streams, and I will make the land of Egypt an utter waste and desolation from Middal to Cyrene, as far as the border of Cush. How quickly the people of Egypt must have forgotten about Moses and the plagues that God brought to them through Moses. Let's pick up one of those plagues from Exodus chapter 4, verse 9. God is speaking, If they will not believe these two signs or listen to your voice, you shall take some water from the Nile and pour it on the dry ground. And the water that you shall take from the Nile will become blood on the dry ground. Obviously, the water from the Nile is under God's control, not Pharaoh's. So God is going to destroy Egypt. Verse 15, it shall be the most lowly of the kingdoms and never again exalt itself above the nations. And I will make them so small that they will never again rule over the nations. And it shall never again be the reliance of the house of Israel recalling their iniquity when they turn to them for aid, then they will know that I am the Lord God. Verse 19. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall carry off its wealth and despoil it and plunder it, and it shall be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt as his payment for which he labored because they worked for me, declares the Lord God. Ouch. God declares that King Nebuchadnezzar worked for God. Yes, God used King Nebuchadnezzar to punish the nations around the people of Israel and even the people of Israel by putting them into exile. However, God will still give the people of Israel and all of us a little bit more hope. Last verse of the chapter, verse 21. 
On that day, I will cause a horn to spring up for the house of Israel, and I will open your lips among them. Then they will know that I am the Lord. So what is this horn of the house of Israel? Mary, mother of Jesus, tells us it is Jesus. Jesus is the one that we rally around. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus the one, is the one that leads us to victory over sin, death, and the devil. Yes, Jesus is the horn of our salvation. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.